In this lesson, we'll learn about using multiple WCS offsets. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to demonstrate how to post multiple setups, use WCS offsets to use multiple coordinate systems in a mill, and demonstrate how to export NC files with G55 references. Let's carry on with the file from the previous example, and let's talk about ways that we can export G code for both setups at the same time. When we were setting these up, we were referencing a G54 location. When working off a standard CNC mill, the G54 location is the XYZ0 of your part. Now this is in addition to the machine coordinate system built into your specific mill. We use the G54 location to tell the mill where it needs to move from its home position to the location of your part based on your program. So for soft jaw setup 2, that location is here. For soft jaw setup 1, however, it's in a different orientation. Not only a different XYZ location, but it's actually 180 degrees out. So what I want to do is I want to talk about ways in which we can use multiple WCS values and post the code at the same time. Now if you're thinking, why would you possibly do this? Well, if we're cutting a lot of soft jaws at the same time, and we're cutting the bottom of one in a single vise in our machine and the top of one in the second vise, we want to be able to use those G locations to have them both machined at the same time. It minimizes the amount of setup time you have, and it allows you to use these work offsets to simplify the setup and programming of your parts. So what I want to do is I want to take a look at soft jaw setup one. I'm going to activate it, and I'm going to right click and edit. When we go to post process, by default, the WCS offset value is zero. And what it means when it's zero is that it takes the next available WCS inside of your machine. Now, in all cases that I've come across, that is G54. However, if you want to manually identify what the specific G number is going to be in your machine, we need to change some of these values. So first, I want to go through and I want to post each code, and I want to take a look at it. So we're going to be using the Haas pre-NGC post configurator. We're going to post it and save it, and I'm going to overwrite a 10001 that's already in my file. So as we look at the code, the first thing we want to identify is this line number 14, G54. The N values here are something specific to this post configurator and this machine wants to see. They're just going to be line identifiers, and notice that they increment by 5 each time. The code that we're interested in is going to be the information contained in G54. G54 tells this program and tells your machine specifically where the part is located. The identification of that location is going to be critical to making sure that our parts can actually be machined. Now the problem is if we post soft jaw setup 2, and again we're going to use all the same parameters, and we take a look at the code, we're using G54 here. So if we were to post both of these at the same time, we get a warning telling us that multiple setups with different WCS settings have been selected. We say yes, and we try to post it, and I'm just going to overwrite 10001 again. You see that we have some code in here, but the problem is G54 is used for 2D Contour 8. If we scroll down past our drill and tap until we get to our soft draw roughing, we're also using G54. Now the problem here is the machine only has one G54. That XYZ0 location is going to be based off of the first part. So it's going to start machining the secondary operations, thinking that the coordinate system is located on the bottom of the part down here. The way that we can get around that is by changing our setups to include multiple WCS offsets. Now there are some settings in here that I want to talk about. Now when we go to post process, we have a WCS offset value, and then we have this multiple WCS offsets. If we want to use multiple WCS offsets, this essentially means that we're using the same program in multiple locations. So if we wanted to program four of these different soft jaws at the same time, but utilizing soft jaw setup one over and over again, that's when we would include multiple WCS offsets. However, if we're posting different setups in the same bit of code, then what we want to do is we want to increment this number to 1. The reason that we want to do that is because 0 means it's going to take the next available offset. 
one tells us that, that this is G54. Then we want to go into our soft jaw setup two, into post processing, and we're going to set this as the number two. The number two represents G55. If you look inside of the Fusion 360 help file, there is information about these offsets because these will only go up to G59. So number three will be G56, four will be G57, five will be G58, and six will be G59. From there, it can increment up to G154, P1, P2, P3, and so on. So there are some examples, and it's going to be a little bit machine dependent as to how many offsets your machine can handle and, and what that code is actually going to look like. But in Fusion 360, we're going to increment these, one being 54, two being 55, all the way up to six being G59, then seven, eight, nine, and so on are going to be G154. But now that we have this set up as one and two, I'm going to select both of them, post at the same time. I'm going to increment this to simply be 10,006. I'm going to post and save it, and we're going to take a look at the code. Inside of here, again, we have our initial file. We have our drill, and then we have our soft jaw roughing. So this is where we want to focus our attention. The soft jaw roughing coordinate system reference is G55. If we go back up to the start, the original operation is G54. So this allows us again to use these values specifically tailored to your machine and the setup of G55, G56, and so on. If we change this value to three, and then again, we select both of these and post them. And again, I'm gonna just simply increment this number. I'm gonna save the code and then take a look at it. We're still referencing G54 for that first setup. And this is because we have that number set at one. If we go down to our soft jaw roughing, now we're referencing G56 because we entered a value of three for our WCS offset. So I know this is potentially a tough topic to understand, especially if you haven't used G54 offsets before. But just keep in mind that using those parameters inside of the setup will allow us to export multiple setups using different coordinate systems at the same time and allow you to run multiple parts and programs and multiple fixtures or locations on your machine at the same time. The end goal, of course, is to make our machines run as fast and efficient as possible giving us the geometry and the parts that we need. So using some of these efficiency options can help you achieve that. From here, let's make sure that we save this file before we move on.